in our latest flash briefing, two recent examples of European innovation from France and Switzerland, as well as a new smart data tip, why you should be creating a chatbot as soon as possible. Hi again from sunny Barcelona. I'm so glad you can join us today. I'm your host, Paul Fleming, joined as always by Ana Hernandez. It's a nice spring day, Paul, and we have some really fresh ideas for May. Off we go. The following content is brought to you by Derby Hotels Collection. Luxury experiences in Paris, London, Barcelona and Madrid. Enjoy a special 10% discount with the code BVAlexa at derbyhotels.com. We begin in the hospitality industry, where French hotel leader Accor has been experimenting with biometrics. They track users' behavioral reactions in order to detect their travel preferences. Their project, codenamed Seeker, uses a series of smart data inputs. Biometric information such as EEGs, heart rate, skin responses, and brain activity. Wow, that sounds complex. Can we see how that works? Sure, more information can be found on the website seekerproject.com along with a stunning video which no one should miss. It's quite Blade Runner and visually beautiful. And in addition, by connecting their own webcams, our listeners can experience Seeker for themselves. And I remind everyone that we'll have links and resources for this flash briefing at our blog, blog.bevirtual.com. Let's move from France now to Switzerland. You told me earlier that it was something to do with watches. Yes, but not in the cliche sense. Thanks to our friends at Trend1 in Hamburg, we discovered the kinetic smartwatch, Sequent. Kinetic? You mean related to movement? Exactly, Anna. We're talking about a watch that keeps ticking based on the wearer's own physical activity. Now, this is nothing new, really. I had a wonderful Breitling watch in the 1980s that was already kinetic back then. So, what makes the Sequin smartwatch so special? It's eco-friendly, the main benefit underscored by its owners, who have patents pending. The Lucerne-based company estimates that the wearer's kinetic, rechargeable energy avoids millions of batteries since it is 100% clean and renewable. And yet, it still offers all the connectivity and features of a smartwatch, whilst protecting the environment. I love it. I will take a look at sequinworld.com. Sustainability and zero waste are, by the way, 2021 macro trends identified by Trend1 in Germany. Shall we end with a new smart data tip for our listeners? We want to give each one a competitive advantage, right? Yes, we do indeed. Let's talk about the growing importance of chatbots. You mean, just like our 24-hour chatbot, Bibi, who lives on our Facebook page? Yeah, that's right, Anna. I love Bibi because he answers questions about our agency, Barcelona Virtual, around the clock and even when the office is closed. According to Chatbots magazine, 67% of U.S. millennials say they are likely to purchase brands which use a chatbot. And it's estimated that chatbots save up to 30% in customer support. But how can our listeners create a chatbot? Right. Well, uh, anyone interested in learning more about that will find very helpful links at our blog at blog.bevirtual.com. Just look for the post related to this particular flash briefing. And I'd also encourage everyone listening to follow us at Barcelona Virtual on Facebook. We're also on Twitter and LinkedIn, of course. But on Facebook, you can chat with BV by just sending him a message. So that'll be all for now. Uh, We're very grateful to have you listening to us. And we'll be back with more intelligent marketing very soon. This flash briefing is brought to you several times a month by Barcelona Virtual a European internet pioneer. To visit us, type the letter B together with virtual.com. That's bvirtual.com.